Amen. I'd like to invite the Glens and your lay leader, John McGuckin, to join us, please. stand over here I think so uh, yeah I mean you're, you're going to be famous seen around the world now I'll let you all hold that before we start I know there's been some changes uh, with your sending agency so there's some changes why don't we let everyone know what those changes are okay yeah I'll just do a quick little update um, so everyone knows that we've been going with hope in the harvest that's the organization that we serve with um, but in the future, you're going to start seeing another name, which is Shepherd Staff. So Hope in the Harvest is a small organization, and they're starting to grow and add more missionaries, which means they can't handle, you know, taking care of all those individual missionary families. And so they've got us to partner with an organization called Shepherd Staff, whose vision is to really work with the local churches who are sending these missionaries and help them be more involved in the um, sending and the caring and all the technical things that go with sending missionaries. So when you see in the future, we're still gonna be working for Hope in the Harvest, but they're kind of contracting Shepherd's staff to come alongside us, Hope in the Harvest, and Epworth, which is um, officially our sending church, to just kind of work together uh, through the different things with the mission. So in the future, you might see Shepherd Staff um, website because um, all of our donations will now go through that new website. And a part of Shepherd Staff is we will have access to um, missionary trainings and a whole network of 200, 300 other missionaries that we can learn from and grow from. And the church will also have access uh, uh, to more resources and things like that. So we're really looking forward to this new partnership little web of things. Um, as we get back to Liberia. If you have any questions about it, you can talk to me or Terry or Catherine Kuwabara, who's also part of the committee that is um, working to send us back to Liberia. Yeah, I think that covers it. Excellent. Give that to your dad. So let us join together as we recommission Anna and Nathan Glenn's mission work in Liberia. The voice of the Lord pierced the darkness of Israel's night, calling, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel replied, Speak, for your servant is listening. The voice of the Lord said to Isaiah, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? And Isaiah replied, Here am I, send me. I'm a
the voice of the Lord came to Mary, saying, The Lord is with you. The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. And Mary replied, I am the Lord's servant. May your word to me be fulfilled. The Spirit came to Peter in a dream, telling him to reach out beyond the boundaries of his own culture and comfort. And Peter said, I now realize how true it is that God does not show favoritism, but accepts from every nation the one who fears him and does what is right. The Spirit said to Philip, Go to that chariot. When Philip drew near, he said to the man, Do you understand what you are reading? He replied, How can I, unless someone explains it to me? The voice of the Lord came to Nathan and Anna Glenn, saying, Look, the fields are ripe for harvest. Will you go into my fields teaching others to believe the things you have heard me say? And they answered without hesitation, Here I am, send me. Brothers and sisters, in baptism, Anna and Nathan received the promises of God. When they publicly professed their faith, they accepted those promises and pledged their lives in service to Christ. They have responded to God's call through the voice of the church to serve as missionaries in Liberia, teaching others to plant, to harvest, and to make chocolate. More than that, their ministry plants seeds of hope that produces a harvest of righteousness and life-sustaining joy. Today, they re reaffirm their commitment to living out their call, and we commit ourselves to support them with our prayers, our resources, and our love. Nathan, Nathan and Anna, are you ready to return to Liberia to live and work among the people there? Will you share with them your skills and knowledge along with your faith, your hope, and your trust in the risen Lord? With God's help, we are ready and willing. People of God, do you commit your, recommit yourselves to praying daily for these commissioned ambassadors of Christ and this fellowship? Will you support them financially through your faithful stewardship of our shared ministry, as well as through direct gifts as each of you is able? Will you hold them in your hearts and offer encouragement to sustain them in their work? We will, with God's help, as we send you back to the mission field, we will remember with joy all of your calling to serve Christ. May God bless and keep you. May our Savior's grace preserve and protect you. May the Spirit sustain and refresh you and bring you peace. Amen. Amen. I believe.